Alorimetry has been around since the late 1700s. And the calculations of heat are actually quite easy when you know to use the formula that Q, or the heat content, is equal to the specific heat of the substance times its mass times the change in temperature. So the Greek capital letter D is the triangle that you see. Q is the heat flow. And we measure the mass in grams. And of course, we want to make sure we all understand that the specific heat is the amount of heat required to raise the temperature of one gram of a substance, one degree Celsius. The next little fact that we need to know is that the specific heat of water is 4.18 joules per gram degrees Celsius. Now, in this case, we have some sample data we're going to work with, in which we've made, measured a metal of 12.8 grams. And of course, we used a mass of water of 75 milliliters or 75 grams in the calorimeter. We measured the calorimeter's water temperature to initially be 24.2. And after we put the metal in, we ended up with an increase of of temperature of 26.9. Now the calculation involves the idea that the Q of the water or the heat of the water is equal to the, the uh, Q of the metal. And so we can use that the uh, C times the M times delta T is equal to both the, for the water and for the metal. If you see in the mathematics, we plug in the numbers of 4.18 for the specific heat of water multiplied by the 75 milliliters of water, or 75 grams, and then we take the temperature difference for the water, and we set that equal to the specific heat of the metal we're solving for, and we multiply that by the, the uh, mass of the metal, 12.8 grams, and we end by multiplying by the initial temperature of the substance of the metal at 100 degrees, because we had it initially in boiling water. Once we solve this, you'll see we end up with the units of joules per gram degree Celsius. I hope this helps.